I fall in love too easily I fall in love too fast I fall in love too terrible everybody i just rolled out of bed literally and today i really wanted to do a what i eat in a day i like watching these types of videos and i wanted to make an updated one because i did one a few months ago when i became pescatarian and now i just want to do another one so if anyone out there is vegetarian you can get some meal ideas the title probably says vegetarian what i eat in a day but i'm pescatarian but I just didn't eat fish today, so that's why I put vegetarian. So I have decided chocolate chip pancakes. Alrighty, so we're gonna be making pancakes for breakfast. We got our Aunt Gemma up in here. Combine mix and water. Okay, this is a lot easier than I expected. Today is July 5th, and yesterday was 4th of July. What did you guys do if you live in America? Comment down below because I'd like to know. I, in the morning, I went out to breakfast with my grandma, and then I went over to my cousin's house for like a pool day, and then I hung out with my friend, and we went on her boat, and we saw fireworks and stuff. So that was really fun. I actually had a fun day. All right, I think we have it to the perfect consistency. And now I'm gonna go get my chocolate chips. Add a lot of those because pancakes without chocolate chips are disgusting in my opinion. We have our pancakes. We got our maple syrup on it. Mm. So I'm gonna eat the rest of my breakfast and then I will see you guys whenever the next time I eat is. So it is 11.44 right now and I'm starting to make lunch. I have some peppers and mushroom sizzling up over there because I'm making a burrito. I really felt like having some Mexican food and Mexican food is literally the best thing to have if you're vegetarian because it's easy, there's like a lot of vegetarian options and it's usually cheap if you're like going out. So I just finished making my burrito. I have cheese, tomatoes, peppers, onions, mushrooms, lettuce lime and black beans in it and it looks really good i love making these for lunch or dinner they're really filling and yummy let's hope i don't eat this disgustingly definitely would have been better if i had guacamole but it is really good I fall in love to it is one o'clock just in time for my afternoon coffee so i thought i would show you how i make it because it's freaking delicious first you take the coffee that your parents left over that they made early in the morning that's already cooled go into your fridge and get some creamer because i do not like black coffee i'm sorry but that is disgusting Use whatever creamer you want. I use this if you want to be a copycat, but I don't really care. Just use whatever you got and make sure to shake it up. Shake it up. We have my coffee right here. We have our cream shooken up. Oh, I think this thing is broken, but we're just gonna go with it because, okay. I just add a little bit of sugar to drink to make it a little bit sweeter. You get yourself a straw, you put it in. Mm. It is a while later and I'm getting hungry for my snack. So my favorite snack that is healthy and salty and delicious 
is edamame. I eat it pretty much every single day. My mom, she just gets these like frozen little bags of them. So here is the finished food. I like to eat it with soy sauce on the side and I just boiled this for like five minutes but I would recommend following what it says on the back of your bag. So it is almost 6 o'clock now and me and my mom are making dinner. I'm helping her out. So for dinner we are having zucchini and squash with noodles and mushroom with like a red sauce and then we're also having a salad. But yeah, that is kind of a traditional dinner for me and I will see you guys the next time that I eat. So it is later now, it's about 10 o'clock and I am just about to get ready for bed and I'm just gonna be chilling out for the rest of the night. So that finishes up this video. This is what I eat in a day. Of course it changes, so don't take this too seriously, but I just wanted to share this so you guys could have some meal ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new and also follow my Instagram at oddcarol. It will be on the screen and I will see you guys next time. Bye!